okay guys let's get started so um for application uh, line of business application when you install line of business application so how do you check whether it got installed successfully or not so first thing first you go to start and then you go to settings and then in settings you come to this uh, accounts access work school account and then you need to go to this uh, connected to the account info you see 7zip got installed successfully we just installed 7zip in enforcement completed now this shows the installation completed second thing you can check in the um, control panel so you go to uh, control control panel and then uh, programs and features and then you see 7zip got installed successfully okay now uh, this is how you can check from the uh, device side from the intune portal how do you check whether it got installed successfully or not you go to app section at the left hand side then you go to windows and then you choose the file uh, choose the application which you would like to see for so this is the one so it got installed successfully where it got installed you go to the properties sorry device install uh, status it got installed in win vm 001 now in the property section we installed and we created a log file here where in c always choose this location c windows temp and uh, the the log file name is 7zip install.log so we, let's see whether that log is showing up or not so we will go to that log file and that is c drive then colon slash windows then slash temp we'll go to that location right and we will uh, sort by date modified so you see this is the file 7zip this is the log file which you can monitor and go scroll down till the bottom of this log file okay so here it says installation completed successfully okay mm -hmm. for which product for this 7zip product and where it downloads the file you see it downloaded the file into this folder okay in your computer but the file gets deleted after installation you cannot see the file okay mm -hmm. in this location so it's c windows system 32 config system profile app data local mdm this is the location where the file gets downloaded now how do you monitor from the event viewer whether application was installed successfully or not so you go to event viewer okay and you go to application and services logs and then you go to microsoft and then windows and then you go to device management device management enterprise diagnostic one minute and then admin when you go to the admin section we have to go to the time when it was installed right it was installed at 703 i believe so i'm gonna go down to 703 Seven zero two. Yes, and the log file ID event ID will be nineteen zero one. Got it? Mm. So nineteen zero one started with nineteen zero one. This is the one enterprise desktop management. So this is the first one okay this is the first one so what the first one is um, this uh, one okay, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so here you have uh, enterprise desktop management the node instance was created successfully for this application guid what is this guid for this is for 7zip that's the unique id for 7zip similarly the unique id for um 
all MSI application will be different. It cannot be same. So this is a unique ID for 7-zip. Now, that's the first one, 1901, right? Now, uh, how will you verify? How will you verify whether this is for 7-zip or which application? So you can go to the registry and go to H key local machine. So you have to go to H key local machine, basically. So I'll go to H key local machine and then software and then slash Microsoft, then slash Windows, then slash current version, then slash uninstall. Okay. So in uninstall, we will be able to see 7-zip if it's a 64. We downloaded 64, I believe. Um, what's the ID number? 231 starting with 231 let me refresh refresh let me fire go for you and refresh yes this is the one 231 this is 7-zip see mm -hmm. okay so this application is uh, having the uh, product code here 23170 this is the one which is there and you see the same product code is right here so that is how you can check the product code so you check the application against with the product code. If you have the product code, you can get the application name. So now go to the event viewer. So this is the first one. Okay. And then uh, 1901 is the first one. Then you go up. Yeah, there you go. Then you have 1904. That's the second one. Got it? Mm. So first the node was created. And then second was task MDM app installer task has started. So it has to install a, an application. That's the task started. Then bit locker is not needed. Huh. Then it says the download started. This is the third one. The third one is application has to download, right? With the same, <laughs> same product code. See, it has the same product code. Yeah. If it's a, having a different product code, that means it's talking about a different product code, right. different application. Now, this application has a bits job. What do you mean by bits job? Bits means it has to download an application. Okay. So I'll show you. I'll take you to the bits later on. First, you see the <clears throat> installation. So it is 1905. So it was 19, it started with 1901, then 1904, then 1905. Got it? Yeah. Then 1906. Completed. Download completed. Application. Download. Done. So this is how you can monitor. This is the th fourth one. Mm -hmm. So download completed here. Then after download completed, then it says application has a start installation started. Okay. And this is this is 1920. 1920. It is not in sequence, guys. That's the problem, mm. but you have to bear with that. So it's installation. You see the same product code. For each one yeah. has the same product code. The so download completed and then installation started. Okay. Now after installation. Did it install successfully? Yes, install successfully. Got it? So this is the sixth one. Installation completed successfully. All good? All good. Yeah. Now this is 1922. Now it's over. You won't be able to see any enterprise uh, because Everything is OK now. Now you have to check the download completed or not. However, it says download completed, but how can you check whether the download was completed as successfully or not? You go to the bits client one. So you go to okay. bits client, bits client. Where is bits client? Bits client. And you go to the operational one. And here,
now here it started at 703 i believe so let's go with the 703 uh, bits loaded a job uh, the bit service loaded the job list from the disk. OK, information. Yes, there you go. This is the one. The bits has started a new job. This is the new job. OK, what is the bits ID? We will have to check the bits ID. The bits ID is this one. Mm, OK, B, F and ending at four five. So let's see. B, F and yeah, ending at yeah. four five. This is yeah, the one. So mm. created a new job. OK, then information. The description source ID. Uh, it downloaded the file from here. It downloaded no. the file from here and it downloaded into this folder. See Windows system 32 <coughs> config system profile app data local MDM and that's the ID GUID of this the application. The okay, okay. It downloaded the download link is right here and it stored the file after downloading here. Okay. Got it. OK, then. No, this is irrelevant now, but it's started the transfer. OK, so it downloaded the file from this link. Then. The transferring associated is this the status code is 00. zero. That means success successfully downloaded. Then information. Job ID the complete. Task completed. Transfer job is complete for the same product from the for the same GUID. Mm. OK. This is so this just is for the download. Yeah, this is just the for work. the download. The installation okay. we have already seen in yes. the enterprise yes. one. Yes. So even we are this one. So enterprise okay. one is the below one. <laughs> Device uh, management enterprise here. Device management enterprise one. So all the installation status you can check in the admin section and download you can check in the bit section. Mm. OK, clear. Yeah, clear. Great. 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 OK, we will try one more application. MSI application. Or EXE application. OK, one more question. Uh, uh, sorry, Kash, but the this this uh, which you have mentioned in the notepad, uh, notepad, sorry, the points. Mm -hmm. uh, are they going to same for each application or they're going to differ or or it's the same process um, mostly? Same process, same process. Same, the only thing is it six. will it will differ is this the product code the will product be different ID, of course. and the bits ID will be different. So sorry, okay. this one. And this is the for a line of uh, business, right? Or, or line for of every? Line of business. Line of business. For Win32, there is a comprehensive log file. I'll show you the bit uh, Win32. Have you uploaded all the applications? I don't think so. No. Not all. Uh, okay. But, so Windows. But, uh, quite. Yeah. So I am going to show you. Yeah, for instance, this one is in, it is, it's, it's in uh, I think, uh, required mo um, available mode. Just go any connect. Yeah, it's required or available. It says that. It's in available mode. Available because mode. I, I tested that with MSI. Yeah. So Cisco any connect is showing up right here. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Yeah. Is, is it? Uh, have you already installed this one? Not installed. Just I left it there. So okay, uh, good, and, good. So we can we can see the log file of this one because this is a Win32 application. So Win32 okay. is completely different than a line of business application. This one is Win32. How do we check the log file for Win Win32? Okay, mm -hmm. that we will see. Either you go with the required mode or available mode. Where it downloads. So it downloads at three different locations. I mean, it downloads at one diff one location and then it goes to a different location. Then it goes to a different location. So it downloads into C. Hmm. Um, wait a minute. I forgot the location. C program files x86. So it downloads in C program files x86 into Microsoft Intune management extension, then content and then incoming. So the file the win32 okay 
So win LOB download location. So line of business will download right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now a uh, win win 32 app download location where it will download it will download in c program files x86 yeah. then microsoft engine management extension then content then incoming folder okay mm -hmm. then it goes to the decryption decrypt decrypt file location where it decrypts the file because the file where when you send the file it downloads in the encrypted format then mm -hmm. it will decrypt the file where it will decrypt the file it will download it will decrypt the file into okay. staging folder i'll show you where is the st staging folder let me keep the file folder like this so this is the first folder where it downloads staging the second one so this is the second folder mm -hmm. okay so the file gets decrypted decrypted here and the third one is the ime cache so see thank you wait a second i bring it no 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 here here oh okay I, so Okay, so here C windows, IME cache. Here, finally the file comes here. After encrypting, uh, decrypting, After decrypting the, the file, the file comes, comes so first yeah, okay. here at the left hand side, then the file comes to this folder and then the file goes to this folder and then it will delete the file from each of these folders. Got it? Okay. Yep. install location basically the installation location is this one installation location so from this location the installation starts got it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. now we will down we will install the application and then we will see how the is file like, comes <coughs> is it like ccm folder in SCCM? yes ccm folder so i'm gonna click on install okay so first it will download here then the file goes to staging and then finally the file will come to the ime cache what happened it failed oh it's already installed, installed here looks like it's already installed okay well, looks like the mode. same looks like it's the same problem in the user mode yeah. okay okay yeah. it's, 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 it's... Hmm. So you'll have to try a different uh, application okay but we can try the same it's it was quick i think or or, or can... whatever you want yeah no why we cannot use this one because this application you have chosen in user context so it is getting installed in the user context that's a problem okay mm. so uh, apps No, it's a system context. System. MSI X any connect QN 10 minutes. It's okay. System profile available, allow available, uninstall. Yes. A requirement detection rule. Okay. Oh, have you given this yourself? Uh, I have taken it from the vendor no. website. No, this is wrong. Because in every okay. machine, you will have uninstall. Mm -hmm. So every application, if you give this one, every application will say it is installed. Why? Because by default, this location is present in every 
computer, right? This uh, is the I wrong... didn't mention the okay. The, uh, this is the, the wrong one. Direct. So how okay. do we correct this one? So in order to correct, you have to copy this one. This product code. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the uh, detection rule. This is wrong detection rule. That's the reason it's saying it's already installed. You have to add and choose what the MSI. Show and then yeah so. you see by default it's coming up okay ah, okay okay so hmm. review plus save because my question here how are we gonna realize that yeah same it was there. because when it's the msi then yeah. you always choose the product code you don't go with the registry okay. registry okay okay, okay. Now we will uh, see because this application was detection rule was incorrect. We have corrected that setting. Hopefully this is going to get uh, synchronized and it will start the installation this time. So because why it says in the install, it says install because the detection rule which you had given was to check it whether that a... registry key available or not. And that registry key is available in every machine. Of course. Yeah. So that's the yes, wrong one. Right. So mm. now. <clears throat> I'm going to go with right click and then synchronize. The work you're doing with the sync and that could have been done with the reinstall button as well, or was it different? Uh, if you choose reinstall and yeah. if the machine, if the changes are not synchronized yet, Oh, okay. then it will still say yeah. it's already installed. So, that's so we made the changes. Option, yeah. We made the changes on company uh, in Intune portal. How the computer will realize whether the changes are done right. or not. We have to synchronize. Yes. Otherwise, we will have to wait sure. auto for automatic synchronization. <coughs> Good that you guys have completed the assignment so that you know what we are doing right now. Yeah. Synchronize 733. Exactly. Okay, so it's the recent it's done. time. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully we can go ahead and one more time I'm going to sync. It's not mandatory to, to synchronize from both these locations. You can synchronize from any one of them. And I'll go to home and Cisco any connect. And this is no, it's just okay. Rao, now it uh, the reinstall is gone. So let me say install and yes, it's downloading now. Where you go? Wow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Incoming. So this is the encrypted format now decrypted. It has decrypted the file. If you double click Perfect. here and continue, you will be able to see the file. After some time it will right now it has not started download. Yeah, there you go and it will it will delete the file. So finally the file comes here. So it happened in fraction of seconds guys. That's the reason I don't see the file here. Yeah. Mm. And it will go away. This, these two folders will also go away. Let's see. File uh, Cisco any connect, right? Mm -hmm. It will take a minute or so. Mm, the file is still there. Probably is still decrypting. Oh, oh fail to install. Uh... Okay. Sorry. Installation of this Cisco version, any connect mobility will replace other. Okay. Let me retry. Okay. Again, the same failed to install. You may already have installed the program from the company portal. Your organization will also have permission to. So we need to check the previous version needs to be removed or not in the policy. Wait, let me go ahead and delete these two. Locations. Okay. Mm 
downloading. Okay, so this is downloading, this is decrypting, and then the file. Uh, there you go. The file uh, okay. came here. I think I double clicked here and then it stopped installing. It failed because oh. I, you know, I was using right. the folder. Uh, okay, so okay. it's a, it might, it might be saying that the folder is open or something. That's the reason. Right. So the file came here. Let's see what is happening right now. Installing. The file gone. went away. File is gone from here. File is gone from here, and the file is gone from here. Yes. And installation successfully done. Successful, so successful, yeah. Cisco Any Connect is right here. Okay. So I think when I double clicked on the folder, it yep. uh, realized that somebody is using this folder, so it failed the application. So it we deleted the file. So the application got installed successfully. Now we will see the log file. Okay. So. The application got installed successfully. This is a Win32 application, so you will not see the application here since it's a Win32 mm. application. It's not LOB. So when you go to settings here, you see you don't have that application here because it's not LOB. Got it? LOB. Right. Second thing, how to check the application, whether it got installed or not, you have the application installed right here and you can see the, the application in panel. the control panel. Yeah. This is where any connect got installed. Now, how will you check the log file? So it has a log file, comprehensive log file. So you go to C drive. And then program files x86. No, program data, sorry. C program data. Okay. Mm -hmm. And yep. then in program data, you go to Microsoft and then you go to Microsoft in Intune Management Extension and then logs. Okay. This is the location. Right. And the loc main log file is Intune Management Extension. This is your log file. Win32 application log file. OK, now we will open this log file. Which log file? Intune management extension log file. Mm -hmm. The yeah. problem is it is opening in Notepad. Notepad is very difficult to read. So we will download one application called CM Trace. Yeah, in yeah. SCCM, we have CM Trace. Yeah. So that is a very good application to open log files. You can see line by line, yeah. Line by line. With the timestamp. Okay. So, yeah. yes. So let's download CM Trace here. Download CM Trace. I think the first link. And then this is. Uh, from, I mean, go back. This is the second link, I think. No, no, first link. Yeah, there you go. OK, so I'm going to click on that. It downloaded. Link. Okay, double click on CM trace and make it a default log viewing tool so that we will be able to open the log file into this tool. Okay, and close okay. it. Yeah. When you close it, you go back to the location, Intune Management Extension, double click on that, and I'm going to use what this one, yeah. file always to oh, open yeah. log files. Let's see. We just installed a few minutes, I think two minutes back, right? Seven forty one Cisco any connect, right? Mm -hmm. So seven thirty seven. Let's go. Okay. 737 application. Mm. 
अपने माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एज यू नो डिटेक्शन डिटेक्शन वन एप्लीकेशन डिटेक्शन and this is for edge browser hmm. this is not detected completed detection is 7 What was the name of the application? Any Connect. Cisco. Cisco Any Connect. Cisco Any Connect. Okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Win thirty two info request is application this application version one application name is Cisco Any Connect. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. So can now we, I think we can find it as well in the search bar. Yeah, yeah, we can find it. Yeah. Uh, we have option to find from here yeah you can find now okay. i'm going line by line so successfully get the token client id and then the application download type okay it will say download okay where it is saying download download the successful token get content information and then application installation code is zero uh, install succeeded no and it in this uh, up it say download, download type. type download it's type in, in the middle yeah there download there. type yeah. okay okay certificate uh. Okay, download URL. So it downloaded the U. Oh, uh, downloaded yeah. the application from this URL. This is the link. From there, it is. It has downloaded the application. Okay. Skip downloading. Oh, this is the old one where it did not download because it skipped downloading because the file was already there. Yes, open. Yeah. Okay. So no, this is the old one. We will not go with this one. Ah, uh, content cache miss for application. This start downloading. Okay, start creating okay. new download job. Okay, okay. and destination right, yeah. destination incoming. So first the file gets downloaded in incoming folder, and then start job, waiting for the job to complete, and then downloading app. So it started downloading from here, and then sending download. request yeah here you see uh, how much byte is there 9113312 so downloaded completely yeah. previously byte 0 by 0 you see it was 0 by 0 but now it has completed downloading from 9113312 by 1911331212 that was the size it downloaded Bites. completely so received download report Uh, sending the download report, so it completed the service now. Job completed, and uh, then, um, then it will decrypt the file. So start verifying encrypt encrypted hash, and then it will decrypt the file. Created encrypt content validation file validation, and then decrypt 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 decryption is in done successfully. Okay. where it de where where it decrypted so unzipping file you see unzipping file in the content in the uh, staging folder right staging right. folder then after a staging folder it will go to oh, started, uh, then it will go to the ime cache okay so Ah, here a detection started. 
you know before it goes to the IME cache a detection started so detection manager and it says the det completed detection and the application detected by the current is false that means it's not detected as you see it's a detection policy with this application is actually installed state detection not detected that means it is not yet installed on the computer got it not detected so and after that it will say executed win32 execution done from where from c windows ime cache so finally the installation so, started yeah. from here installation started yeah, from we... here wait a minute then step yeah, execute okay. retry zero step install behavior is this and then is uh, learn then it will the 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 the, the uh, command line to do the installation is this one any connect q and so all user reboot really suppress no restart um, then win 32 in machine and then installation create installer process and then IP exit zero. IP exit zero means success. Installation mm. is done. Okay. Mm, and then then it says IP exit code defined as success. Okay. Now it will do the detection again. Okay. Let's see. And remove removing that. content. It removed yes. the content from here. It removed yeah. the content from here. Right. Then detection. It will do the detection again. And this time it says detected. Got it. It says right, yeah. detected. That mm. means ins application is installed and it is uh, true. Just check the product code. This is the product code. Found the product code and it is true. That means application is installed. You see the new value is yeah. installed. Installed. See, okay. Installed. So right. application got installed successfully. So you have to. It is very comprehensive log file. You will have to check one by one, step by step. Okay. Yes, what was the question? Um, <laughs> uh, I what think it's, uh, no, hang on, hang on. Um, yeah, sorry, you, you're showing us everything from the end user machine, right? Mm. So far we have gone to registry and all the logs, we have checked it, uh, event um, log and all that. So what, how you can check, um, I know it is easy for the administrator to go on the machine and then you can check everything from there. So this machine has got a problem. My user is working. So how are you going to run from your, um, can we do the same thing from your console? You can do that. The log file you can collect. I have already shown that you first, you can check the status from here. You can simply go to the overview section and see it is installed successfully. Okay. But yeah. in case if you would like to check the log file, you can simply go to the devices and go to the windows. Now I would like to see the log file. You click on the uh, uh, name of the application. Uh, I mean, name collect of the computer, uh, collect, collect diagnostic log yeah. file and click on yes. So you will be able to get the log file in like device diagnostic. The same log file, which I was checking. It will come here pending diagnostic upload so you'll have to wait for a few minutes and yeah. then you will be able to download the log file from the device okay 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 so today we saw the log files okay yeah you can send this to everyone mm -hmm. uh, vajid yes sure so right. lob Back. download allocation is this and this is event viewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. Gabby, do you use the same uh, meeting for the other? Um, classes, mm -hmm. training sessions as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, I was just wondering, can we copy in the chat, but that's fine. Um, what is uh, can no, Wajid can do it. Yes, yeah. Or can uh, copy in WhatsApp group. Yes, yeah, better you fine, yeah. copy, yeah. put it in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. yeah. Any, okay, <laughs> so we'll have, we'll do the session on coming Saturday, okay? In the meantime, you yeah, try no deploying more applications. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. 
So uh, one more question, Kashif Bhai, is uh, in what you were showing in the logs. So we were finding the Win32 logs uh, downloads. Uh, and in beginning, you show there was a download link from where it is started downloaded. But actually, it didn't download from there in, in reality because it's already downloaded. It's installing from the company portal, isn't it? No, first it has to download the file. OK, so why why how? Hmm? No, but why it is? I mean, it's already um, what I meant to say. It is al already downloaded and it was in available mode and it's in company portal or it, it will download again. It will download it, it, company portal is just the list. It's the, just the advertisement. Yeah, just uh, OK, it will suppose, not download actually. Okay. No, suppose suppose if you, uh, on your mobile phone, all the applications you you have android or ios android android you go to play store you yeah, go when you go place, to the yeah. play store then all the applications showing up are they downloaded in your in your mobile no right no 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 so when you click on that then it starts downloading right okay okay the same concept okay. here in company portal they are showing up just the advertisement but when you click on that then it will start downloading okay okay understood even for the required one Required one will get automatically installed. installed. You don't have to installed. click on that, yes, and it will not show up in the company portal. Yes, Somebody yeah. control panel. Okay, that is uh, interesting. But uh, by the way, is your Wireshark issue resolved? Yeah. Sorry again, uh, Mr. Your Wireshark. Uh, I changed the headphone, and it's fine. <laughs> No, no, the Wireshark application. Oh, uh, the Wireshark. Uh, no, no, no. Um, it's not uh, installed yet. Uh, is your install, Yusubai? No. Uh, uh, even not. No. So, uh, Kashubai, uh, we, I mean, I installed this Wireshark application <laughs> and it's still not installed. Uh, maybe the same. Uh, uh, you suppose you corrected the uh, parameter. Click is on it now installed? Click on properties. Because I, I also yeah, remove the them. Yeah, remove. And remove. it's uh, delete. Wait, wait, wait. Device contacts. Let me let me take control. See temp. See temp. Uh, uh, see be... Windows. Okay, uh, Windows one. Yeah. Windows temp wild shark dot log. dot log and its device contacts. So... Yes. And you have made it available. Okay. Okay. Okay, that should be fine, isn't it? No, but it is LOB, right? Uh, this yeah. is uh, LOB. LOB yeah, will not come. Says. MSI line of the business. Yeah, but it wasn't installing either. Okay, it was not installing. This was not installing. So it, yeah. This is available, right? So let me go and and delete this. Required. Add group. And then Windows 10 select. So now I change the I change the law, uh, installation command line parameter plus the deployment to uh, required mode. OK, mm -hmm. so let's see. Should be in available available too, isn't it? Uh, is LOB application will not come when you make it available. Only Win32 will application will come in available. OK. This was not the case before, but Microsoft recently changed this. I don't know why, but they changed this. So, so what was that? Uh, uh, sorry, LOB will not LOB come application here? will not be available here. Okay. okay. Only Win32 application will be available. And in, other, uh, in, other. In available mode. Yes. LOB application when you deploy it in available mode that will not come here. 
in in available motor okay understood okay okay only win no, no that's fine yeah my no, god the only only thing i wanted to know that um, why can't we do in the available mode Microsoft recently, why... Microsoft recently changed that. Previously, that was not the case. When, when you make it available, it should be available, but they have changed it. I don't know why, okay. but they changed this recently. Uh, I think two two months back, they changed this uh, process. So, LOB application, you should deploy always in required mode. Okay. If you, want, no, if you would I'm, like I'm, to make I'm it available, about... then <clears> with 32. Now I was just thinking the why shack is not for the normal user, the network guys who usually use this or like IT guys. So it should be available for only those people. Then we should try a Win32 mode. Win32 mode, yes. So this uh, um, LOB in required uh, in available mode, it has been changed by Microsoft, what you're saying, right? Yeah, Microsoft is updating the policies in the back end, right? So LOB so, in available mode is no more, uh, no more supporting. Supporting, okay. Okay. Yes, downloading, downloading in process. progress. So this application is Wireshark, right? So Wireshark, Wireshark will get installed, hopefully. So it didn't work because uh, first of all, the parameter was wrong. And the second was we were trying with the uh, available. available mode. And yeah. that's why it's, it didn't work. Yeah, so in the in line of uh, business, we should try only in required mode. Required That's mode, it. yes. Okay. Enforcement in progress. Let me see the log file. So C drive, Windows, temp, temp, yeah, and then Wireshark dot log. Cool. Error. No, completed successful. Okay. Wireshark mm -hmm. got installed successfully. When I click on start, Wireshark got installed. Okay. Got it. Okay. So that was the issue. Okay. Wireshark completed. Com completed. Excellent. Okay, thank you guys. Bye now. Okay, thank okay you. then. Okay, thanks. Bye.